Hello folks, here is Riber's Annex with a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a rapid fire cheat for assault cube like 1337 hexer. First you need to do all GHB till 21st tutorial about hooking, second you have to watch cheat the game video on how to make rapid fire on any game. If you want to know more check out the god mode post for assault cube 2, the concept of this video is similar. Let's start, open assault cube and cheat engine. Now we need to add the current weapon pointer and start looking at memory reagent to find the delay counter. If you watch the video of cheat the game you will understand why I do that. Let's shoot and see what variables change. Nothing here, let's go see up and down if we find something interesting. I do not see anything that could interest us in this memory region, I try to change it and go to see the address of our rounds in the magazine nearby. It must be somewhere close here. Here it is. Our fucking time counter for the assault rifle. We also got the one for the pistol. But they are not the same. Let's add them to the address list and we go to see what write to those fuckers. The last one is the instruction that moves a value, 120 in our case, to the address deferenced. Click show in the disassembler to see the address of the instruction. Now let's do the same thing with the address of pistol timer, to see if it's the same function or a different one. Pretty sure it's the same, no sense to make it different. It is. Let's knock this function and let's see if the timer is completely removed. Right click and replace with code that does nothing. It works. But now see what happens if we join in a bot lobby. It seems every bot they shoot like Eminem when he raps. At this point I realized that perhaps it was a common function. See what happens if I restore the original code. At this point I was 99% sure it was a common function. To have absolute certainty I put a breakpoint on the move instruction to see when and who triggered it. Watch. When I click mouse sx the breakpoint got triggered. So instruction is called when I shoot. With the breakpoint active we enter a lobby and see that when the bots shoot the game freeze. At this point it is certain. That instruction is common and we need a way to recognize when we call it. If you have read a guide on how to hook health function for make god mode, we need to find some register that contains a memory address that appertain only to our local player and it must be different when the bot calls the function. Look at ESI. It contains the address of the current weapon class that you found on reclass tutorial. I'm gonna explain why this is important. Imagine having three entities and a function common to all of them. One of these entities is us and the other two are enemies. We cannot have the same classes that belong to the enemies, because if we are modified, the enemies are also modified. So imagine there is more than one instance of the current weapon class in memory. Each entity has its own. When an entity calls the function, it supplies its current weapon class to that function, and from there we get all the variables to modify, including our timer. If we use the debugger and check ESI when an enemy fires, we will see that the address will be different from when we fire.
So how we can implement the we can check if the address that is contained in ESI is the same address as the local players class. We can do this by finding the pointer to that address, deferencing it, and comparing it to ESI. The pseudocode looks like this. OK, let's start. This DLL is the same code as the DLL in the hooking tutorial. I just added the find modi function to find the pointer to the current weapon class address. We need to dereference that pointer and compare it with the SI. If it is the same, not move instruction, otherwise we do nothing. If you haven't seen the hooking tutorial, stop pasting, you won't understand any of this. We fucking did it, here was Riper's Anax, peace out.